Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Bible Study Minute. Today, we're taking a look at Nehemiah chapters 3 and 4. In chapter 3, we get a very detailed account of the names of people who helped rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, the city walls, as well as the gates. And then in chapter 4, we get back into some of the details of the narrative of what's happening in Nehemiah. So what we see here is Sambalot and some other people, they're just furious and angered that the Jews are rebuilding the wall. And so they're mocking them and they're doing whatever they can to prevent this wall from being rebuilt. And it even gets to a point where they plot to like infiltrate and kill and attack the Jews. But it doesn't stop them. The Jews are resolved to rebuild the walls as God has allowed them to do. So with the help of Nehemiah, what they do is they cut their numbers in half. So half the people are now standing guard, watching for an attack, while the other half of the people are working on rebuilding the wall. So it cuts their time. It doubles their time that it takes to actually rebuild the wall, but it keeps them safe and the work is able to continue instead of just stopping altogether. And that's what we see happening here is that they're actually trusting the Lord to fight for them and allowing them to accomplish the work. So this foiled their plan that Sambalot had, and it allowed the work to continue. And our takeaway from this is that in much the same way, living the Christian life and doing the work that God has called us to do is not going to be without opposition. There are going to be people who hate us, who hate God, and want to do whatever they can to stop the work of God. But that doesn't mean that we need to stop. We need to maintain our focus, continue to do the work that God has called us to do. Yes, it might mean that we need to pivot, make some minor adjustments so that we can continue the work, but we need to stay focused on God and his plan and what he has called us to do and doing that instead of getting distracted by everything else that's surrounding us. So that's the takeaway from these two chapters in Nehemiah, and then we'll continue to take a look at what's next tomorrow. So that's all I have for now. Until next time. Grace and peace.